Okay, welcome back to the slowest growing YouTube channel out there. Um, what we're gonna do today is um, go through, this is my game, it starts with a splash screen and it end up in a house and you do stuff. I won't go into that, but what I've always wanted to do is have this cool fly in and then use animation aerial shot, kind of zip through the house maybe, and leave you at that black splash screen. So what we're gonna do today is go through how to create an animation with a fly through camera. And then sometime during that animation on the timeline, we are gonna trigger a load screen to this main game. And it's pretty easy, except for the, the extra explanation I'm gonna do, it should take you like five minutes to do this. So, all right, let's go ahead and do it. So this is the game I showed you. This is all the goop in it. So first thing I do is I'm just gonna go ahead and save the scene as a copy. And I'm just gonna call this, uh, just go ahead and call it fly through. Yahoo, there it is right there. Let's make sure we're there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go add these to our build environment. So if you go to build settings, we're gonna go add open scenes and that's fly through and five is our original game. So it's important to make sure that they're in the right order. So fly through will execute first and we're gonna include that also. I'm gonna go ahead and save it, control S. I'm gonna go back to the main game, make sure it's loaded up there, go back to build settings and that is correct. They're both enabled, okay. Go back to fly through, and now that we're in there, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the first person controller. How sad. And any FS stems I might have to do logic. Okay, now there's no camera enabled, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new camera down here somewhere. I'm gonna go create a new camera. I don't want it parented by garage box, whatever. So I'm just gonna bring it up. Pull it back down. Okay, now th this is important. You're, you're gonna attach an FSM to the camera. Otherwise, this won't work. So right click, you do right click, add an FSM, or you can go to the camera, go to inspector, and add a component. FSM, I will spell it for you. Here we go, now it has an FSM attached to it, camera selected. There already is in the start state. Also in the camera, we want to add something else. We want to add an animator, uh, an animator. Not an animation, but an animator. Yahoo. So we go back to our project. There's all our goop. Um, you can do it in the animations folder, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it in the root so it's easier to, for this tutorial. So you're gonna right click, create animator. I don't know why I pronounce it like Oh, because it's Animator Controller. Fancy. So, let's call this Fly. All right, there it is, just sitting there doing nothing. Go back to our camera, and then Inspector, there is the Animator, and it has no controller. So it's gonna drag Fly into it, okay? Now, here's our camera. It's sitting in the garage doing nothing. I wanna basically place it where I want our stuff to stay. Start. Rotate, remember your heart hotkeys, W E F W E R E rotates. Where are we? Where are we? Looking at nowhere. Oh, maybe we have to rotate it. Yep, we're pointing the wrong way. Okay. And point it down a little bit. And then let's move over a little bit. W moves. Bring a little closer. That's kind of cool. Eh, cool is relative. Okay, so there we go. That's our start camera. All right, so we want to animate the camera. So basically, we can go to the animation window. Animation, animation. We already have it, I already have it docked. Okay, so right now it's asking to create an animation. My camera is still selected, so that's what we're gonna be animating on. So I'm gonna do create an animation. And I'm gonna call this um, fly in. Save, okay. So it's this, this panel here. You can zoom in and out and it's 60 frames a second. 
So basically I'm going to drag, it's going to start recording, but we're going to go and drag this out after we start recording. So let's do record, drag this out to 60, 60 frames. And now if we move this camera, it'll start to record or doing our tweening. So basically I'm going to move this guy in place. So I'm looking over here right now, roughly where I want to be. That's in the kitchen, I think. That's where the game kind of starts. Let's go ahead and rotate it back up. It's kind of cool, a little low. And that's basically about it, right? Except it's kind of boring. So if I hit save, and we play our game, this is gonna auto animate. Tick, tick, tick. Yahoo very fun so it's not that interesting and for one thing if we we're actually gonna take our animation we need to slow it down a little bit so we can go to the animator pull up the animator panel and select that animation go to our properties and our speed is set for one so it's playing 60 frames a second so that's one second let's go ahead and do tw point two. and also it's kind of boring so if we go back to the animation, double click that, pulls up our panel again. Let's do record again. Make sure camera selected. Hit record. Drag halfway through it maybe. See over here this window. And that kind of is boring and crappy. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. It makes a keyframe. You'll see I'm pointing with my finger right here. So, makes a keyframe. I'm gonna rotate it around a little bit. And now automatically, if we wanna see what the tween looks like, it goes All right, it's not great, but you get the gist. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. Okay, now at the end of this animation, at the end of this animation, we wanna have our event trigger. So right here, we scroll to the very end. In this bar here, right up, above the very top dot. I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna do add, add animation event. Okay, there's the event. Now, under the camera, click the camera, and we go to our PlayStation tab, and here's our events. All right, so let's add a new event. And let's go name the event. Let's play. Okay, just hit enter. Now, right click in the space, we're not gonna add a state, we're gonna add a global transition. And there's Let's Play, okay? Simple, click into the state, and we're gonna get our actions, and look for load scene. Took the fun out of it. And then this index is what we're gonna load. You can load it canonically by name, but instead we're gonna cheat and use the number. Build settings, the game ID, is five and we're currently in zero. Whoops, game scene is five, but the index is one. Right now we're currently in index zero. So when this trigger happens on the timeline, we want to load scene one. Yeah, save that. And I think that's it. Um, and then so go back here to make sure that our thing is, this is our main scene. Go back to our build settings, fly through is zero. The main scene is one. And if we were just to go back to our fly through, nothing's gonna happen. Sorry, what you have to do is, it's not gonna work until you do the build. So I'm just gonna do build and run. And then it's gonna run, should fly through nice and slowly, hit that event and load the new scene. No, oh, and it doesn't do it. Okay, so we have loops somewhere. Control F4 to get out of there. 
So go to fly through, loaded. Let's go to our animation. Flying, inspector, loop time. And then make sure our animation. Has that event. Function selected. Now, what was that called? Let's play. So now if you click the camera, you slick, click the event, little tick thing we added, and we drop down and we do send event. And that event was let's play. And that and save it. Build and run. That should that should fly through and leave us at our game. There you go. So that's how you do uh, it. And the cutscene would be the same kind of way. So if I run over here, hit this TV, and I have an event to say load scene, and that load scene is the original, it'll do a fly through on an animation you choose. Okay, so that should have taken five minutes, but I am slow. I forgot the looping thing and other little a sundry of a couple items, but. That's pretty much all there is to it. The things that'll trip you up are to make sure that you have the FSM attached to your camera. Otherwise, you won't get those drop downs available to you. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you get stuck and I will shoot you a message back. And those are markers for something. Uh, you'll never see this game. It's turning out really terrible, but at least I know how to do animations and cut scenes. All right, so um, I will see you soon. Okay, oh, so awkward getting off. All right, bye.